relationship and marriage and many times we have lost our relationship lost our family simply because we didn't know how to handle these things and it didn't start with the husband or wife you did because I came to the earth through people and when I came I already I met people who were already here and every individual that I would ever meet will impact me. Some negatively, some positively. But what happens with the impact is that the impact comes out of the action or the act that that person would have uh, perpetrated against me or would have done in favor of me but usually you know you, you, you don't come for counseling because everything going good hmm. you come because there's negativity and for every act that a person uh, perpetrates against me what that, does that do that creates an emotion a negative emotion negative emotions come out of negative action hmm. and action here is not only to kick a cough on the boat in fact few people will hit you two kicks a cough on the boat but they will hit you with their mouths you remember early in the in the teaching we talk about the fraud lip <laughs> <laughs> when some people put that mouth in a fraud form listen to me you need to shield yourself because some people just as good as that or bad as that. They get under your fingernail by the time they finish speaking. And we found out that what people do to us physically, we may feel the pain for a while and it will dissipate. But you see the emotional fallout, it stays with you. It stays with you. Jane, I'm pregnant. For who? That's as, mm. listen, as devastating as a nuclear bomb mm. exploding inside of the, the little child is as devastating as what happened in Hiroshima in 1945 to end the Second World War. It messes up that child from there. But we also found out that for every negative emotion, there is a spirit from hell that assigns itself to that individual. And listen to me. Unless there is deliverance, when that child begins to walk through life, negative spirits attract negative people who continue to pile on the negativity. Well, I, I was speaking with this couple uh, just recently, preparing them for, for marriage. I, and I asked each one, at, at, at what age you met your, um, your, your spouse to be, at what age you met your spouse to be. And when it worked out, it accum an accumulation of about 47 years when put together. I said, do you know, <laughs> each of you coming into the relationship when you get married, have to, you would have to deal with 47 years of history. I said, yes. I said, don't think it's just that you're going to have sex together, you know, and you're going to be joined together for, for a little bit, you know. No, from the moment you say, I do, and you put a ring on finger and sign on paper. My, we, we, got, we got married, uh, I, I was 23 going on 24, and she was 23 going on 24. I would have been, we got married in July, July the 17th. I hear <coughs> Friday coming is the 17th of July. Right, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> and she first of, of um, first of November. So when we worked it out, that's 46 going on, 47 years of history 
both of us had to deal with now because her history became my story and my story became her history and now each of us would have to deal with the, the accumulated time listen to me those who are viewing and you never heard teaching like this I dare say to you you need to stop a little while and say God thank you Amen. because I'm now realizing I have to do some introspection hallelujah hallelujah and you know you want to do self cleansing the most powerful weapon against it the most powerful neutralizer is forgiveness forgiveness I'll say it again to you forgiveness but I find it so hard to forgive well then you are creating an easy environment or I should say an environment into which very easily more negatives will come forgiveness is the great neutralizer I, 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 I was uh, listening to a radio station and the lady was saying uh, well she's a psychologist uh, a Christian psychologist and so on and she was saying one moment of negativity for which you refuse to forgive shuts down your immune system for three hours within which time any kind of sickness could come upon you that blew my mind wow. yes and she is a qualified kingdom psychologist makes you physically vulnerable makes you physically vulnerable for three hours somebody hurt you and you did not say i forgive you so it is years now well over, well that's why because we we didn't know we well I mean, we didn't know we don't forgive that's right but thank god god has a way of compressing time our times are in his hands. So we are saying to you right now, if we're talking about self-governance, self-governance is putting our hands, our feet, our everything into God's hands. For, because the word manage means to, for him to handle us. And in his book, his chronicle for life called the Bible, the scripture says it straight up. And forgive me, Lord, as I forgive. As soon as I forgive, you forgive me. And for Jesus to come down to earth and go up on the cross, and the very first thing he would say on the cross, introducing the act of salvation, at the end of which he'll say, finish. It is finished. The fact that before he could say it is finished, he had to say, I forgive. It tells me that if I don't forgive, I'll be finished. So if you're talking about self-cleansing, forgiveness is the great neutralizer that removes the acidity of negativity. But the thing about it uh, is that forgiveness is not an act or an event, a one-time event. It's a process. Because the negativity you have, you have to deal with, I have to deal with, everybody has to deal with, came over time. Yeah, it was accumulated. For as old as you are, that's how many layers of negativity you may have. And if, if, if you look at a tractor trying to clear land, especially if it's a, a hilly area, it has to keep going after that piece of uh, mound. And after a while, you'll realize there are different colors, shades of dirt. That's over years of accumulation by way of flooding. Well, many times, that's how our, li how our lives are. 
and we have come up with this definition for forgiveness forgiveness is not a one time event rather it is a process of healing through which I must go until that which caused me pain now gives me a reason to praise God for the healing that he has given to me Amen. oh my God until you could praise God genuinely mm. praise God for the pain that you God. suffered and may I tell you there will be stimuli that will come to attack it because just when you thought that yes that's it that person passes in front of you mm. I, I remember a teacher friend of mine it was the perfume that her former husband used to wear that used to trip her off. She said that man was so wicked. But he had a particular perfume. It was so good. She had bought it for him. And even though they had divorced for years, she said anywhere she went, whether it was on a plane, whether it was on the job, once she smelled that perfume on a man, a kind of rage used to come into her until she found out about forgiveness another one she hated Kentucky <laughs> because it was in Kentucky she and the husband finally broke up they had a fight in Kentucky so anywhere she passed and she saw Kentucky chicken <laughs> but we are prophesying to you right now that the cleansing power Amen. of the blood of Jesus hallelujah Amen. It's an invasive yes. uh, 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 ingredient. It's a potent Jesus. ingredient that could come into you anywhere, anytime. Yes. And we prophesy whatever daddy may have done to you, whatever mom may have done to you, whatever a pastor may have done to you that you don't want to hear anything about church and about God, whatever your boss may have done to you, to you, your business partner ran away with all your money. Your husband messed you up. I am here to prophesy to you, Eko Robo Shanda, that there's a neutralizing anointing in the blood of Jesus. And if you're already saved, but you're still under that pressure, I prophesy to you the first thing Jesus preached on the cross. He said, take up your cross and follow him. Then the first thing you must do under the pressure is declare lord i forgive Amen. you want to be healed yes you want to be set free you want something that could burn the handcuffs that keep preventing you from fulfilling divine purpose declare right now lord i forgive my father Lord, I forgive my father. Lord, I forgive my mother. And I decree, my God, there will be a bursting of those things that have encumbered you. Receive your healing right now. Let there be the Lordship of God in your house right now in your body right now getting into your system right now i declare he's flushing you my god everything that has messed you up i prophesy he's just moving that lever there's another flushing from what happened to you and the first boyfriend you had rubber shandai that now you cannot flow with your husband and break it in the name of jesus that spirit of abandonment that makes you want to abandon your children we break it right now flash it this is cleansing time somebody you, you need to go by that toilet and just vomit out that stuff that has coming been coming up inside of you it's deliverance time take your deliverance 
shakarabasata. Ooh, tina maseka robo kuta yarabasa. Every negativity, every negative spirit, everything that has you attracting people who only come in to hurt you, only come in to take stuff from you and then run off with them and leave you dry. I prophesy right now, you spirit of negativity, come out Amen. and let the cleansing power of God show up. Yeah, I release angels in your house right now. A couple that has been drifting apart, find one another now, hold hands right now. And I prophesy that negative band saw. My God, it's, it's like one of those electric saws been cutting away, cutting away at your, your, your cohesion as a family, as a couple. I prophesy right now the negativity that you brought into the marriage from your mother and father and grandmother and grandfather. I prophesy right now the neutralizing anointing is with you. Come on, it's time to forgive one another. Mm. Watch your children stop fighting one another. That spirit with which you operate is what has happened to your children. My God, Father, we give you the praise. Amen. We give you the praise. We give you the Thank praise. You, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We challenge every negativity inside of us. We're not going to leave them unchallenged. We're coming after that. We're coming after it. <laughs> hey, every black spot, every dark spot in our lives. We come after it right now. And we turn on the light of the word of God. Every negative attitude, every acidic attitude, every vengeful feeling, biting remarks. My God, ultra negative spirit, ultra critical spirit, depression, suicidal thoughts, self condemnation. We command you, come out. Hallelujah. And leave God's son alone. Leave God's daughter alone. Leave that family alone. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every negative experience that came out of childhood abandonment, childhood rejection, we rebuke you right now. Every disappointment that was spawned by the failure of trusted exemplars. You looked up to your father and he messed you up. You looked up to your mother and she messed, she messed you up. You looked up to your teacher and he messed you up. You looked up to a pastor and he messed you up. Forgive right now. Take your deliverance. Even the negativity of personal failures. You said you won't do that and you did it. You said you won't go there and you went. You said you would not feel like that and you did. Forgive yourself right now. Cleanse yourself. Every spirit of anger. We command anger to come out. Every time you, you, you get angry, I feel like, come on, I rebuke that spirit. I say we joint. I say you spirit of abuse. Come out of God's son. Come out of that family. Come out of that community. My God. Pain that came out of being attracted to hurt, hurtful people. Just seem to always gravitate to somebody who takes a piece of you and run with it. I rebuke that right now. I declare your relationship is going to be clean and clear. I declare God is going to give you by his authority. And not when it's suppo you're supposed to get closer to, uh, to people. And he's going to do a uh-uh, uh-uh. And I want you to know when he says uh-uh, hightail it out of there. 
Masako Robo Shondo, he wants to save you. Jesus. Masakara, you shall no longer be attracted to negative people. Never feel slighted if they didn't invite you to their home. We rebuke it because you are going like a lamb to the slaughter. Jesus. Jesus. I declare God will give you an ability to discern yes, people's intentions. There'll be a sensitivity in, in the atmosphere. Uh, you'll pick it up. In the name of Jesus, on the job, in the family, in the neighborhood, wherever you may be, we prophesy. God will give you a tingling in your spirit. And he said, yes. just get out of here, please. No, yes. no, no, no. Yes. Just, just get, get in your car and drive. Oh, Take a time. Go to the go to the bathroom. Take a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to the lunch room. Leave yes. your desk right now because you may just you may just explode. Jesus. And once you explode, it's not easy to clean up. So Father, right now we declare deliverance. We declare deliverance. We declare deliverance, self-cleansing. That person with that set of tattoos on your body, Eko Rabba Shanda, remember the intent. Yes, you say, but what was the intent when you put it on? Were you in rebellion at the time against your family, rebellion against your mother, your father, and you just went and you put on a tattoo? Rebellion against your girlfriend or your boyfriend? Come on, come on, come on. I prophesy, remember, and I want you to reject that spirit right now. Rebuke that spirit. You can't get the stuff off of your skin, but I prophesy you could get the spirit out of your soul. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If you have the anointing oil with you, put some anointing oil. Or if you don't have destiny anointing oil, find some baby oil, some kind of oil you rub your skin with. Hallelujah. And in the next instant, I declare, now that oil is anointed. And when this is over, you get into your bathroom or wherever, bathe and then anoint yourself. Hey, Karabash. Oh, I just saw some demons leave your home right now. They've been dogging you. They've been dogging you. Nashata. Every time you invest your money in this and invest your time in this and you invest time in people, they turn around and they rip you apart. Father, we give you the praise. Thank you for the cleansing, Lord. Thank you for the cleansing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Rebuke that sickening feeling of being left behind by others who seem to get all the good bricks in life be cleansed from that negativity yes. right now god say in your season in his time yes. this is your time now i said this is your time now but that which has been holding you back that which has been holding on to your, your feet as you're trying to climb the ladder we break it right now and we decree this is your freedom time you're coming out of covid with a promotion you're coming out of covid moving up in the name of jesus Hallelujah. cleanse yourself of that negativity yes. yeah. thank you father my god the doubt and skepticism as to the authenticity of god and his word and the list goes on i prophesy today you have come into a divine encounter with god yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You don't need, usually go to church, but you sat with your family today and you are seeing God move. Yes. He's real. He's real. He's Lord. Yes. Yes. Join with us as we bless him. Yes. We are empowering him in your space. Yes, Take a hold of him right now. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Rabakasha. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, Judah. Come, Judah. Come, get your mics. Get your mics. Karabasho. Torobokusha. Taraba. Hallelujah. Rise and be healed. In the name of Jesus, let faith arise in your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, 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 stand. Come, stand right there.
turning your life back to God. I sense there's somebody who is getting saved for the first time. Amen. We're going to do it. And the Apostle Gemma is going to pray that prayer of salvation and restoration. Father, we thank you so much for sending Jesus Christ. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross and shedding your blood that is still applicable to our lives today. That even as we consider self-cleansing, the only way we could be cleansed is through your blood. Hallelujah. Your blood can go back into our past. Hallelujah into our mother's womb my God and begin to change things even there and bring us in alignment up to the present and Father I pray for those who are all messed up and are now understanding a little bit as to how they are and why they are and now they are willing to give over the management of their lives to you in the name of Jesus we feel like your angels are going to minister to each person, Father, and your Holy Spirit will bring conviction. Hallelujah. And they're going to begin to bring the changes that are necessary in their lives. And those of you who are decided that you want to give over the management of your life yes, Lord. to Jesus Christ, Jesus. whether you are backslidden or whether it's the first time, I want you to say these words after me. Yes. Remember, you can say your own words. These are not necessarily the words that you must say. But say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the thank cross. Thank you for shedding your blood for me. And today, I give over the management of my life to you. Take my life. Take my life. Take my past. Take my present, take my future, and manage my life for me. Manage my life for me. Holy Spirit, come in and make the changes that are necessary. Give me the strength to forgive. Yes, Lord. Give me the strength to forgive. Give me the strength to forgive, Lord. Hallelujah. Because help me to understand that I'm doing more harm. Jesus. To my own self and to the people who hurt me. And I'm empowering them to continue to hurt me. Even those who have already died and gone. Those who have already separated themselves from my life, yet they control me. Because I harbor unforgiveness. They live in my head, they live in my heart. They dominate my waking hours. Many of them dominate my sleep. My God, Jesus. But I forgive, Lord. Forgive. Help me to forgive and help me not just to forgive this time because I have learned that forgiveness is a process. Like. Help me, Lord, to live forgiving. And Father, we thank you for their lives and we commit every single person to your care. Regardless of where they are, chart a course for their lives even now. We leave them in your hand, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Sing Hallelujah. Sing that one more time. Rise and live in the name
Offerings. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even before we take our offerings, we just want to consecrate a new batch of oil, destiny anointing oil, available at the office. As you would know, right through the week, we are now doing office from 10 to 5. So you can come and get your oil. We have the small, the medium, and the large. We just lift them up to God. These represent the batch. These are just part of the batch. So Father, we lift this oil before you. And we declare, Lord, many who will use this oil will now be authorized and duly deputized, as it were, to apply this oil to whatever situation. And Lord, the prayer of faith will bring wholeness. Even as, Lord, you had us stuck on this thing about negativity today, we declare many will get their oil. And by your authority, they would anoint themselves. And Lord, capture this same atmosphere because this is not confined to church. This is wherever people open up their hearts to you. And Lord, you will do some cleansing this week. Hallelujah. Lord, we're talking deep bone cleansing. Deep inside our very marrow. Let your word go down. So we dedicate this to your glory and we authorize those who would use it, Lord, to use it with the authority that is vested in those that believe in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We're going to take our, we're going to take our tithes and offering, but I, I, I want to read a testimony. Got permission from the person to read this testimony uh, that pertains to the power of giving, of paying your tithes. This sister says this, COVID left me without a job, yet all my bills are paid. And, this is the next one, I never see money flow through my bank account like that. Uh, you can give me your address, please? Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. My oh right, my parents decided to pay me just like that. Um Emmanuel Vivian Duncan, just give them my name, please. Just like that. And that came from me paying my tithe. I pay my tithes. God commands somebody to pay me. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> that came from me paying my tithes faithfully throughout the COVID season with no job. Eh? All right. Nobody could tell me not to pay my tithes. Full stuff. Good. Yeah, we're going to go with Lord. I, I proclaim it, but I, I have to find. Let me, let me find a rhythm here. Let it know. Uh,
proclaim you now, Lord, we proclaim you now, and your mighty power, and your awesome majesty, Lord, Lord, come upon us now, and release your power, and let your presence we cry, oh Lord, oh Lord. come to the end of our service today. Oh, what a time we have had in the presence of God. We proclaim his grace is greater than any pain that you could have. Uh, his grace is all encompassing. His grace covers the, every situation. And we know this entire week, some of us will still be going through our purging. And, uh, this was God and is God. And we proclaim, you hook up with one of your, your cousins, your friends, whoever, because now that you are being delivered, there is an anointing upon you to help bring other people through their deliverance. Let them hook up with us on Wednesday. We'll be on again on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we co we'll be continuing with how to do the, the inner healing, the self-cleansing as we pursue self-governance. What did we say self-governance is? Self-governance is me doing what? Handing over the management of my life into the hand of God. A uh, few announcements. Uh, of, of course, we have gotten back into our... A rhythm with our administrative office. We will be open tomorrow at 10 right down until 5. That's our administrative office from Monday right down to when, uh, Monday right down to Friday. But, but our copy center, the TT Post unit and Exosia will be open from 9. 9 until 5 on the same days. Amen. Uh, and uh, next week, Monday, next week, Monday, we're going to be doing, uh, well, it's by Zoom, uh, the conference with uh, new dimensions of, ba uh, I'm say Bahai, I? of Barbados with our good friend, Apostle Stephen Halford. And the New Dimension people, Apostle Sandra Holford as well. And uh, among the cadre of speakers, of course, we'll be, we'll be beginning Monday the 20th. And sometime during the week, our good friend Dr. Shadrach will also be ministering. Amen. As we go through the week, we will um, keep talking about it because we want everybody to hook up with it. Amen. To get that supernatural impartation. Amen? Amen. 
uh, what else do we, do we need to know? Uh, again, we have not yet decided to come into congregational worship like we used to. Certainly we can't because of the COVID restrictions and the way I heard the, the uh, what do you call him, the Minister of Health talking, he's saying this may be for the next two years. We don't know, but we'll see what, what God will do. God is in charge, and we love that. So for, for those who are still not able to come to the office to do your transactions and so on, and you're going to do it through the bank, uh, you will see coming up on the screen right now the bank account um, information. Remember, when you make a deposit, please take the receipt that you get from the teller right on that receipt your name and the designation of the finances even made one lump sum deposit but you have tithes you have offerings you have pledge you have first food whatever please take the time and designate what amount for what particular item it's a nightmare for the accounts when the money just comes in and there is no designation. If you know anything about accounting, there must be an audit, and the audit must have specific items for the particular money. You can't put miscellaneous right through, or else they'll fail the audit. We will fail the audit, and we don't want that. Amen? So we give God the praise for his goodness. Find somebody and just let that person know, hey, today was a watershed in my life. God has broken something that had been holding me in bondage. God bless you until we meet again this Wednesday. Amen. Amen. Well, of course, School of the Bible is still on a break, right? Uh, 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 all, right school, all right, School of the Bible will begin uh, the second semester on the 21st of this June? June. July. Oh, 21st of July. Oh, we, we in July. 21st of July. Um, Friday coming. As we said, this Friday coming, the 17th, besides it being nomination day, we are going to be celebrating, Apostle Jim and myself, we're going to be celebrating 44 years of marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. I was we were 23 years old, fast with myself. But we started, and look what the Lord has done. Didn't realize that God had planned for us. Prophetic voice, apostolic authority, teacher's anointing yeah, to bring a whole fresh set of revelation and understanding. Listen to me. We give God amen. the praise. He, was, he allowed us to raise three powerful persons doing great things in the earth. And we, we already have our first two in the grand, in the grand mm -hmm. pavilion. Amen? More to come. Amen. But we give God the praise. Keep praying for us. We got a lot more to do in the earth before we get to heaven. Amen? And a lot more to do together. Amen? So God bless you until until we make um if, if at all you've decided to give a gift just tell us <laughs> well boy you can give the perfume we it, we'll store it up because ain't got much place to go but uh, but i spray to go downstairs though uh -huh. amen <laughs> so god bless you until we see you this wednesday god bless you give god some praise for judah and for DDPT. Amen. Amen. God bless you.